This is the SR32J2, the next generation in the SR family. This machine has additional tool positions. We've increased the back working platen from four stations to eight stations. All of those stations are live. We've increased the drilling arm from four positions to five positions to give us extra capability uh, for front working and, and counterface drilling. In terms of speed and power, the power has gone up by 50% on all the spindles. In terms of speed, the speed's increased from 7,000 on the main and sub spindle up to 8,000. On the cross working platen, we've increased the speed from 5,000 to 6,000 RPM for the top three stations and 8,000 RPM on the bottom two stations. To cope with the extra power, we've changed from LM guide rails on many of the axes. This machine has dovetail slides on the Y2, the Y1 and the X1 axes, and also on the Z2. This makes the machine more rigid under heavy duty conditions. In addition, we've added a lot of extra iron to the base casting to cope with the extra mechanical load that's on the machine. The internal webs have gone from 20 millimeter thickness up to 25 millimeter thickness. To improve the thermal stability of the machine, we've added lots of extra covers to the internals of the machine. This keeps the hot, neat cutting oil off the base casting, stopping any distortion that may occur as the temperature of the oil increases. Another benefit on the J2 model is its ability to switch between non-guide bush mode and guide bush mode. Obviously in non-guide bush mode the remnants are reduced from approximately 250 millimeters down to approximately 100 millimeters, saving an awful lot of material and making the whole process more efficient.